everyone here is a pigeon. Everyone. Everyone, everyone? everyone has a wrong address. Everyone tells things that are not true. Everyone misinterpret things. I think we need to be respectful in our language, too. No, 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 no. You don't need to yell, shut the f up to people. To you. I'm not talking to you. You need to watch I your am, language. No, I am not watching my language. Watch your language. Nothing you, you need to be respectful. There's, there's you can't no yell, f you f the biggest people. pigeon of all of them here. You Virtual reality. Hi, I'm Danny Murphy. And I'm Evan Real. And the pigeons are out to play, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> we now know what pigeon means. Yeah. Ish. What is going on? Well, because I'm scared to open up from you bitches. You guys are twisting shit. Everyone not me. Is, you just said not us. Pigeon. Everyone is like not saying something. Everyone's a what? Like a pigeon. Pigeon? Yeah. I like that you the vacuum. I think so. Yeah, Uba was describing what it means to be a pigeon. And basically, it's a carrier pigeon, but she feels that the carrier pigeons who flutter and fly around the Rony universe don't have the correct address. And she, Yeah, she wants the pigeons to have some pineapple and cool down. Pineapple, that's for sure. What's pineapple? Nothing. Yes. Because on Jersey Housewives, we know pineapple means something different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for the New York ladies, well, at least for Sai and Uba, it is their safe word to breathe. Why are you Probably yelling pineapple yeah, 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 mid-conversation? This is weird. Oh. They have like a safe word? It really works, doesn't it? No, no, don't tell me. Pineapple. <laughs> that. Calm down. I loved how everyone was so confused. Because it was confusing. It's like all of a sudden we're screaming the word pineapple. But as Sai explained, it really worked because it took Uba's levels very much down. The Uba hot was way less heated. Now... There's a lot of reasons why Uba Hot is heated. One of them is the Bryn and Psy situation. I just want us to be friends and I want this to go very quickly. I don't want you to feel upset at me for any way that I have hurt you. I just want to be like, can I say that I'm so, all the ways that I've hurt you and truly to God, and I think you've expressed them to me, why not? I'm really sorry. First impressions of their talk in the Hamptons. Between Bryn and Psy? Yeah. Is that the one that began with Hi Bunny Fufu? Sit, sit right here. I actually think we should. Yeah, no, 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 no. Nobody's coming in. Just, just <laughs> let them sit for a while. Hi Bunny Fufu. Hi. I guess we are having our talk. Yeah. Okay, so Bunny Fufu came hopping on over after mm -hmm. Bryn called her. Look, I think that Bryn was very open to the conversation. I think Sai was as well. I really appreciate your apology, but I feel like you never even heard my side. So again, we're like kind of brushing my feelings underneath the rug. You never even heard me talk to you. I don't know where the wires cross. I think it was that Bryn was looking for an apology that Sai didn't feel was necessary. And here's what's very interesting about housewives. I think in Sai's mind, she's like, I sent you the text to apologize. And it's kind of like, well, if we're on this couch, why don't you say you're sorry? And then actually, Sai went full Edith Piaf. I don't know if you know her. Non je ne regrette rien. Uh, she had no regrets. And you're forgiven for screaming at me because of something I'm you forgiven. thought I did. I'm forgiven. I didn't ask for forgiveness. Oh, Lord I don't knows regret. You did. I don't regret Guys, any of it. Stop. This oh, is we know you don't regret. One we know you don't regret. This is not. This is not it. Yeah, no regrets. So she had at all. nothing. You don't accept any apology for anything like that. But I feel. Do you think her and Bryn are kind of just the personalities where it's like? I think they kind of are two people that could agree to disagree and move on. Yeah, I think so. And I think that's what they just need to do because yeah. the the approach they're taking is not working. Although I did love that Sai in her new Zen era, she was just like, you know what, baby girl, I'm going to walk away, walk over to this here kitchen. With all the food. Thank you, Aaron. Exactly. I know the way the food looked. It looked really good. We have definitely upgraded from Pringles and caviar. Pringles and caviar. It's an unusual combo. Why do people eat this Sorry, I shouldn't say it's very good. Updated this the countertop and... Well, at the countertop and the the sink. Look at my kitchen. I love those chairs. Oh, my God. Wait, these are all new cabinets. All new cabinets. Wow. All new. Everything wow. is new. It's see not it. fully done. Like, see, obviously, oh, there's wire hanging okay. here. And that's it, according to Jessel. The drawers, too, yeah. The, the cabinets. The cabinets. Cabinets. Well, you know Why what? was everyone saying it like cabinets? I don't know. How I, do you say cabinet? Cabinet. Oh. Cab wait, is this like a, a northeast thing? Cabinet. 
I'm not rich enough to like reflect on cabinets. You know what I mean? Like it's not something I think about that. But much. everyone was, I, I, I expected a Jessel to be like cabinets, but like everyone was like cabinets. cabinets. It's just two syllables. It's two syllables. Cabinets. You know what I would have Aaron's reply? And I hope Aaron, you're watching this. Um, if someone was shitting on the lack of updates in my Hamptons kitchen, I'd be like, let me get the car and we'll go look at you. Are you in West Hampton, Sac Harbor? Oh, you don't have a Hamptons house. So just eat my cheese. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Miss Interior Design has stepped it up and here we have a brand spanking new kitchen. There was like a new cabinet situation. Um, I think upgraded like sink taps. You know, who doesn't want a new sink tap? Um, yeah, I think that was it, right? Was it more? I don't know. True, true. Yeah. Oh, well, I do think Jessel was just asked oh, by a producer, being, like, yes. Oh, I know Jessel didn't mean bad by that. I think she was just like, that's it. Like sharing the news. Yeah. And the news was a, a sink, some cabinets. <laughs> <and> the, <laughs> yeah. But what? Wait, so we were talking. We were oh, talking about the spread. Okay. So Sai, after the burn situation, she was like, I can't take this anymore. I'm gonna go have some cheese and grapes and whatnot. We're good. Her condescending tone is very frustrating. It's so not I'm gonna walk away. And then Bryn got up and she wanted to give Sai a hug. Side didn't seem to want the hug, mm -hmm. but she eventually accepted it and then even gave Bryn a hug. So I do have hope for these two, yes. even though they currently don't follow each other on social media. Yes, that is true. Um, so here is hoping for your hope. I do love two things. Uh, one, and I, I hope Bryn takes this as a compliment. Oh God, what are you gonna say? <laughs> say it, just say it, Danny. She's been all, well, because all of her fights so far this season have been on the couch. Oh. I love how she's in her job of the hot era. Where she's kind of like, no, in the sense, in the sense, Bryn, that she's like, oh, if you have a problem with me, come over to me. Okay, yes. And she's like, because right. Jabba was the king of that shit. Yeah, he, Jabba was very powerful. You could she, be the king, but watch the queen conquer. Right, and she, I feel like she's conquering. She and sure then is. so she's like, oh, if you want if you want me to apologize for something, come on up. Like, she's Jabba <laughs> the Hutt meets Christina Aguilera. Come on over, baby. That kind of helps. Um, so I love that. <laughs> Chris, okay, if you put Job of the Hut with Christina 2024, it does kind of like cancel out. It, you know what I'm saying? Because like, yeah, because <laughs> Christina is like, has, she's looked so pretty lately. Yeah. Okay. So I think if anyone got just got mad at someone, <laughs> it's Christina. You. I Bryn's love, all good with me. I love Christina Aguilera. Another thing I love that Bryn did, Jenna. What were your intentions? Okay, Jenna. Yeah. Can you come here for a second? Ooh. That was like a teacher okay. calling you to uh -huh. come to the principal's office. Yes. She went full like principal mode, principal mode, flight attendant, like kind of like, like housewife Karen. Hey, Jenna, we're going to need you over here in aisle three. And like Jabba, J she, like Jenna. Jenna was like, I'm coming, I'm coming. But okay. So Jenna's whole thing. I don't know. I love Jenna Lyons, but like she was kind of annoying me. Get into it. Because I just called Bryn Job of the Hut, so I need you to say <laughs> yes, please get into something with Jenna. Because Jenna was sitting there trying to pretend like she didn't directly call out Bryn for telling her that Sai said she hated her. I didn't specifically call out Bryn. You Bryn. said this girl. I didn't specifically what? call out yes, Bryn. You I don't did Jenna. Uh, why do you hate me? I never said that. Who told you that? <laughs> yeah, look at this one, look at this. Yes, you did. Roll tape. Yes, you I, You didn't say the name, mm -hmm. but you said this girl right here. Yes, you did. That's what annoyed just me so much. Because I'm like, she's, and we cut right to Bryn. And I know it wasn't Jessel because Jessel's like, ba, 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 like. It was literally this girl, right? Like, it was and very clearly about Bryn. And you know what I think could help Bryn and Cy out? That Bryn seeing that footage. Because Bryn's like, why are you mad? I'm the 71st person to tell you. It's like. Because she pointed right to you. And you're the 71st person, maybe, but you're the one in this group. The one in this group. And also the one that Sai had a relationship with more. I think Sai's whole thing is like, I don't care if like Jenna's fifth assistant said that she thinks I hate. I don't know Jenna's fifth assistant. What, who I do know is you, Bryn. Yeah. And I know, and Sai's probably like, I talked a lot of shit about a lot of people to you. And I right. thought we had that like the secret club remember they thought they had right and that's the thing like with with Bryn like for better or for worse like she she holds a lot of power in this group you know what I mean mm -hmm. so the fact that she has this information and she has <laughs> shared it like that 
that means more than the 70th or the 72nd person randomly in New York City who's going to tell Jenna that Sai allegedly hates her. Hates her. But that's the thing. Like, I feel like you could just be complaining about someone and be like, oh, I freaking just hate them so much. But it, like, that doesn't it's, mean like I hate them at a fundamental exactly. level. Exactly. Or it, it's, it's just like, it's also venting. Yeah. Like when people are like, would you say that to someone's face? No, that's why I'm saying it to you. <laughs> right. I wouldn't want to talk to them. Like, that's why I'm talking shit about them. Yeah. Like, let's all put it down. And that's where I was like, Jenna likes to play her little line of like, oh my God, ice cream and puppies. But like, Jenna, you were, you were now talking a little shit and own it. But right. So I, so I kind of hit her with that confessional. What can you do with an old lady who can't remember anything? What am I going to do? Beat her up until she remembers something? I, I just got to let it go. Um. I know. I feel like I blocked that out of my mind because I was like, that was really savage. But you know what? That's why we that's why we love <laughs> Sai. She really, really keeps it real. But I can understand why she would say that because that is frustrating. Like yeah. the fact that Jenna didn't remember how it all <clears throat> She didn't out. remember that. Yeah. She remembered that Jessel didn't like the lingerie. If I'm Jess, because Jessel me and Jessel are both Tauruses and we both like our nice things and we both are nice. I'm, I'm pissed for Jessel that that Bottega bag was a joke. It's very nice. Oh, you got Bottega. Bottega. You got wow. Veneta. You got Veneta. I cannot with you, Jenna Lyons. It's a Christmas It's a Because like for a split second, I really thought there was I, a Bottega bag in there. For Like I thought it was like a true, sincere apology. Like I, I thought mean, it was going to be a green Bottega bag and I know exactly which, I know Jessel knows also which bag I'm thinking of. And you knowing which bag she was thinking of also being a Taurus and y'all Tauruses are a little bit materialistic. I love I, it. It's just, it's just a thing. We're Jabba's with that. So imagining this green Bottega bag in that and then opening up a party city Christmas tree costume, what would be, what would be going through your heart, mind, soul, and spirit? I would have been like, are you fucking kidding me? I actually, Jess will actually handle it with a lot more decorum than I would. Yeah. Cause then I would open up the laundry and be like, great. Great. Do you know what I wish? I do wish she would have like put it on and stomped down the stairs. She wouldn't have. No. She's that that bo that bag wasn't open. It's still in Erin's house with the photo of like that like murder scene that Rebecca was like, why is this in your daughter's room? Murder, baby. Oh my god. Why did you hang that in your daughter's room? I should take it out. It's okay. Yeah, I was really confused by that. Was it a murder scene? It didn't feel good. Rich people's art is interesting, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. I mean when she was encouraged to remove it from her daughter's room, she was like, yeah, I should take that out. Yeah. So it, I'm, I'm assuming it was some sort of depiction of violence. You didn't look, yeah. <laughs> it looked yeah. really scary. It looked very creepy. <laughs> yeah. Looks very weird. And so I'm glad they had that little weirdo moments. No feuding with the rooms, which is all good for now. Yeah, that was Everyone's nice. happy. And then they had a nice dinner where we got to learn a lot about Rebecca losing her virginity and Ra Raquel getting proposed to. I lost my virginity at 16 because my parents had a really great deal. They said, if you don't do drugs, we'll get you birth control pills. And I was like, sign me up. I'm more interested in this Rebecca losing her virginity situation, not about Rebecca losing her virginity, but the fact that she revealed that she made a pact with her mom. Her mom was like, look, I will give you birth control if you don't do drugs. And she was like, let's go. Let's like, go. I mean, parents weigh in. Me and Evan thought that's a fair trade. Like I thought, I think I was like, oh my God, that's a genius parent there, Jenna deeply disagreed. Hell no. I grew up in California, and so like, it was mostly about drinking and driving, but like, the idea that I would condone sex at 16, it's all like, too much. I have a 17 year old kid, like I can't even imagine giving him, oh God. Yeah, Jenna was like, I would never condone my teenager having sex. Like, here's the thing, like teenagers, are gonna have sex. Like no, 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 we've no. all seen Teen Mom. Like we've, we've all been teenagers. I mean, I was I was just overeating at Quiznos. So like I had my own cross to bear. <laughs> my parents didn't have to be like do any deals with me. They're just like, do you want a treadmill? I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Get the thousand mile ranch. But Rebecca Minkoff's mom was like, do you want birth control? And she yes. was like, yeah, that would actually be really helpful to prevent. I don't know a teen pregnancy. Yes. Or you know what I'm saying. So like I don't know. I I didn't think the trade off was that weird. But Jenna and I I feel like even some of the other girls were a yeah. little like taken aback by that. But I do appreciate Rebecca for being open. so open about something that I feel like. Although I think I think it's a fair trade off. I feel like I would be cognizant that others in the group might receive judge it me for it. So yes. I 
I applaud her for just being an open book about it and not caring what others think. I, I, between that and the diva cup? The cups you wear when you're- The diva cup? Yeah. No, uh, I yeah. sneezed and it shot out of me. I will never put anything like that at me again. I know, that that catapulted out of her? She was like, oh, my diva cup girl, like it I shot know. out. It was its diva. I, I'm a, a diva. I'm, who a, is I'm this a diva. A diva. <laughs> you know how like all the, kids, yes. all the kids on TikTok are like, who is this diva? <laughs> Rebecca, Rebecca was like, who is this diva? You know, like, <laughs> who is she? Who is she? Well, now we know. But I feel like, so everyone had, well, everyone besides Uba had a nice dinner because she kind of is like, see, the, and I love such like a housewife energy, but I also feel like I have some friends and I'm sure you do too. That will do things like after night. So I'm sure you guys are wondering why I'm quiet. <laughs> oh, I actually was. <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to go to bed. <clears throat> but I love, so you guys are all wondering why I'm so, you're not getting the full fun me. Everyone's what? like, okay. Okay, we're all like, and especially her talking to Jessel, Aaron, and then Bryn, who were all doing shots before dinner. So they're like, I feel like, that was the last and mind. tired. Yeah, they're like, yeah. we're just kind of like have a little mezcaloom nightcap and go to bed. But Uba let them let them have it about the pigeons. I mean, I'm glad she explained herself because if it wasn't apparent to them, it is apparent to the viewer that mm. Uba is a little bit more reserved, subduba. Yeah, and not licking feet like she was, t- was talking to Sai about licking feet, but no one else. Oh, wait. We gotta talk about that for a second. Okay. Cause like on the car ride to the Hamptons, she's talking about like my baby feet so sexy, my baby feet so smells bad. good. Smells good. He has the most beautiful feet and it smells really good too. I'm just jealous of Uba for her wholehearted desire to interact so closely and mm. intimately with someone's mm. feet. Mm. Oh. My baby, I'm talking about my baby feet. And you smell his feet? Like I, all the time, all tone? the time I like massage you. The, the guy is super cool. That's not for me. That's not for you? That's but not like for me. Her painting that room off of herself and then okay. some feet? All right, when you put it that way. Okay, In so Greenwich? This, this is what I do love. So she's talking about her man, Oliver, who's so handsome and apparently has a really gorgeous home in Connecticut. It to seems, his feet in. It's <laughs> exactly. It seems like she's a little bit hesitant to jump full force into the situation because he wants her to move in with him. Yeah. Already has a room situated for They're her kids. That she can she can just paint in this <clears throat> room. Olive already got like a room for me to paint big huge canvas. That's and nice. painting and everything. And I have a whole room for me to paint. Love that. So if you can have a room that you can just paint and like imagine how big <clears> this <throat> house is. Yeah. But Sai was basically explaining, I think, either to her face or in a confession. Oh, to her face, which I like. That she like um, self-destructs. Yeah. Yeah. And she should just go for it because she's got a good thing going. Oh, you trying to like lock me in in this gate? We just want you to have a place that you're comfortable in. It This drives me crazy. I know. You get opportunities, and then when you get them, you freak out and you want to throw them away. I think you have to just surrender sometimes. Do we think the Raquel Sai drama's all over? What happened to Raquel? Wait, I heard the story about driving up here with Raquel. She, I called her. By the way, I'm just curious. Why didn't you want to drive with the other girls? I get crazy car stuff. And Sai and Uba were going to be in the front. I don't think I give up the front seat. I think I so. I because <clears throat> I was. I think it was just people not understanding what each other was saying because when you yeah. look back at the text message she didn't say you can't ride in the front she it was, was like, take some medicine if you're gonna ride in the, in the back. back well when i said i would drive you were like oh you can take dramamine so i was like okay i thought you made your sick. own car ah okay all right i didn't yeah. know that you wanted to drive my car i thought you oh. meant you can drive like you're gonna drive your own car <laughs> and then i guess raquel was also offering to drive, drive which, size car, but I wouldn't want someone who I don't. I wouldn't want anyone to drive my car besides me. I don't have a car. Thing, like again, you're not on the insurance. Knock on wood. Right, and like I also give side props for being real. She was like, I just, I just met you. I don't know you. I'm not gonna let you drive my new two hundred thousand dollar Range Rover. Yeah. I just met you, honey. You can't drive my brand new car. I just, I just got this car. No. Or however. I think it's a hundred thousand dollars because was, the two hundred thousand dollar one is Bentley. Yeah, Jenna's so, Bentley. Still, yes. But Jenna was like, "Oh, that was backordered or something like that." I'm like, oh my God, "What?" Yeah. But um, yeah, so I think that's all fine. I think it all kind of just and it kind of ties into Uba's point. Say what you pigeons stop carrying pigeons and say what you want to say. I don't know what she wants everyone to say though, and I don't think Bryn does either. Because it seems Uba's very concerned that there's this 
game of telephone that constantly happens between this group of women. But that's housewives. That's also, that's just people. That's, <laughs> right, that's just people. <laughs> like, I can't even throw the housewives under the bus for that. If someone, it's like even that meme that goes around when like, Carrie finds out that Big's wedding is, they're getting divorced. And it's like, that's very personal information. You shouldn't tell people. Then the next scene is Big's getting a divorce. That's just sharing with the class. It's a kindergarten fact that sharing is caring. Right. Well, and then there's a, there's an obligation when you are a real housewife, housewife to, to share. Like you, it's just, it's part of the job. Even yeah. like, I think back to like the last episode when Aaron was in her <clears throat> confessional talking about the Bitcoin. Jen, or no. Well, Jen is it, oh, financial issues. Yeah. Like she shared that with the whole group. And so in that moment, she's like, I don't want to like spread her business, but sure. I'm sitting here in front of a producer in front of a camera talking about something that Jenna shared with everyone else. And then, so then, that was probably also on camera, just not you. Right. Yeah. So the game of telephone just becomes inevitable. So I, I don't know, especially after surviving your first season, yeah. you kind of, I, I would, <clears throat> I would think that Uba would have like a better idea of like what this is, which is like, we talk on camera <clears throat> in certain sects I, of our group and then it gets shared with other people and then it creates drama and then hopefully we can resolve it. Yeah. I also feel it's a hard thing too, with these, cause all the ladies do say outside of this franchise too, that they like forget when they're being filmed. I'm sure they forget what conversations happen on and off yeah. camera. So they're like, you're mad about, but you talked about that. And like mm. nine times out of 10, you probably said it on camera. So that makes me, I don't, I don't know what her issue with Brynn is. And we know they are not in a good place now with the Instagram, social media, they're not following each other. I guess her issue with Brynn, I guess, <coughs> from what she has said on the show is that she feels like Brynn repeats things in a messy way. You are the biggest pigeon of all of them here. You say that you, you are the one making this group that not trusting each other, not want to talk about one another. But, oh, Uba, I mean... Uba would have some issue with me. <laughs> Uba what? I wish Uba might have some issue with me. I like to repeat... But I you like, like to, to repeat things in a messy way? Well, I like to do it in what I think is the Aaron way, where like, I was just being silly that I said Jenna can't afford an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> Jenna, do you think the Bentley is going to break down? I'm sure, but I will only travel with Aaron. And that way she can get me an Uber home. So Jenna does have money. <laughs> well, I did love how Jenna, when they were talking about that, oh! she was like, I just wanted to make sure that Aaron, Aaron could, could afford, afford an Uber. Yeah. I was just making sure that Aaron could afford it. Oh, <laughs> I could. It was a big strain on my uh, finances. Also, I need to know, like, we, we've talked about it. We're acknowledging it. Jenna, can you just please Venmo this woman who got uh all of her Bitcoin removed? Secretly I know. by her husband. Just give her the 250. I feel like that would make her feel so much better because now that we know more of her story, I can understand why the expensive Uber ride really hit hard. That's also, I'm sorry. That moved me 250. I'm like, if it was like $30, I'd let it go. $250? Well, you'd send a Venmo request. I want to remind Jenna Alliance. I would. <laughs> but you can only remind once. Oh, in the app? Yeah. You can't re remind. Well, you Trust can, me. You can send a text message. Yeah. But you can make a phone call. Jenna's like, sorry, I was feeding my dog cafe au lait. Oh. I still don't get why that dog drinks coffee. Anyway, I don't get it. Well, if the dog likes coffee, let, Should it? let her or him enjoy the coffee. Okay. Do you know the dog's name? Mm -mm. Cafe au lait. I'm cafe au lait. S'il vous plaît. Cafe au lait. But I do know Bryn kind of is, Bryn kind of was like, oh, I guess we could talk about the whole, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth at that final, where she was just like, you said she went full Aquarius. She did go full Aquarius. I, I'm an Aquarius, so I was really invested in the way that Bryn was handling the conflict at that breakfast mm -hmm. towards the end of so the To the spokesperson. When she was, like, basically telling Uba, and I think, I think she made a really good point. Like, the reason why communication could possibly be messy is because people aren't speaking for themselves. They're using spokespeople. Maybe it's because people are using spokespeople and not talking for themselves. And I don't think that Sai asked for no. a spokesperson. I just think that Uba is a really good friend to Sai yes. and felt the need to defend her <clears> in this situation. I also do think that for whatever reason, Uba does not like Brynn. And so this felt yeah. like an, a, an easy place to sort of get in there and get at Brynn. <coughs> yeah. But I, but I, Brynn really reminded me the way she was acting, the way she was talking, the way she was just sort of in my opinion, like spitting facts. Yeah. It just reminded me of the way that you I can sometimes facts? handle conflict within my own dynamic circle okay. of people. You know, what's hard. Cause I do relate. I do like how she was being very blunt with that, but unfortunately on Uba side, I don't know why there's nothing I left fighting more than someone else's battle. 
Well, and that's honestly, I or it's, I don't love doing it. I feel it's almost like, and I, but I think Bryn did hurt Uba in some way that, or like Uba feels hurt by Bryn in some way. Mm-hmm. But like, if like Bryn called me stupid, I'd be like, okay. If she called you stupid, I'd be like, okay, Bryn. Let's, I, I don't know why. And like, it just like. Right. Well, oh, and Lord, that's, um, that's the thing. Like, I think that Bryn made a very solid point talking about like, we don't need spokespeople. Yeah. But I also really do appreciate her loyalty. Yeah. And if she feels that what, Bryn is coming for Sai, like she's going to step in and defend her. And I, I do, I honestly do appreciate that. Yeah. Like, I think that's like, a good Because it's like, I'm not quality. a spokesperson, I'm a friend. What about that? Yeah. Oh, see. See. Uh, Uba, you got to <laughs> link up with Danny. Like, <laughs> but I don't want the Bryn. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know if I. Need, I don't know if I can handle any of their like heat. Yeah, it is a lot of. Heat. I'll just be. I'll just like just let me be at the side of the table with Raquel and Rebecca. I know they. Uh, <laughs> they yeah. seem like look, very peaceful. In like a very peaceful, and they even say they want to bring the peace. Like I gotta exhale with them. But well, the coming attraction. Shabbat shalom, bitches. Oh my god, everyone's ah! I am so There's a downstairs that used to be like a full on sex dungeon. No. Snake, a liar. It's not a good thing. I don't have to sit here and take this bullshit from people. I want to get the out of here. I'm not happy with this. I might be driving Bryn home because she wants to leave. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like in this situation, it's it's tough for Bryn because she has. Well, I don't want to say it's not tough for Uber or tough for Sai. I think it's tough for everyone. But you have Uba and Sai who are very much like two yeah. on. Well, one. it's also the hard thing where Bryn's like, I don't want to be this place where everyone's yelling at me. That's also the name of the game. Mm. So it's, I think this is like the season of all them learning. It's like, this is what housewives is. We are in the Hamptons. We are trapped in a house for four days. I know, but didn't Brynn like make a shady comment about like where, she, where Aaron lives in the Hamptons? She was like, yeah, I, I've never actually, oh, oh, I've been to the Hamptons once with you with last me. year to go to Jill. Yeah. Saren's luxury luncheon. Um, I don't, where was that in comparison to where Aaron that was, is? They're in Sag Harbor, which is where Luann's house is. Okay. Is that cute? I live in a studio apartment in Jersey. Anywhere in the Hamptons is nice for me. And Sack Harbor is very nice. Okay. I think Bryn said she prefers Southampton more. Okay. Which is that technically like higher on the scale of Hamptons locales? Not, not in my I mean like I think it's maybe like a younger scene, but Erin is younger than Bryn, so I don't really know what that oh. is about. Danny. I, I, you know, no, That's I'm trying not to think a nice fact. No, I'm or, trying to You're just spitting facts. Okay. I'm just you're like, oh, and also, if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm not, but I think maybe that's maybe she thinks Southampton. I'm saying is like more of like a fun going out spot, and Sag Harbor is more residential. Okay, but if I'm in the Hamptons, I don't want to go out because also pasta is forty five fucking dollars. Pastas? Yes, and it's I'm sure it's just Barillo salt. Like you're just paying to like be in the Hamptons with bad Wi Fi. I'm not a Hamptons fan. I do love that your first thought of going out in the Hamptons was. <laughs> Past is forty five dollars. Again, I'm Jabba the Hutt, <laughs> Bryn. I mean that as a compliment, girl. Like I am full Jabba, so I'm just like I. I would love to be in Sag Harbor, at Luann's house, but or eating Aaron's pasta house. at home. Yeah, well, I'm I would love to, if I'm being invited out to the Hamptons. I'll cook, not well, but I'll cook. What's your favorite kind of pasta to cook? <clears throat> um, well, I do like to make. Well, I'm vegetarian, so I make uh, like a uh, vegan bolognese, but I use mozzarella cheese, so I just get vegetarian bolognese. Okay, that sounds good. So you make a mise en place, and you put the tomato paste, the tomatoes, the impossible meat, and then I like bucatini because the sauce goes in it. Mm-hmm. So I mean, honestly, Aaron, invite. I, we won't fight with you. Yeah, Danny will just cook. I'll for cook you. for you, and I'll go to Sag Harbor. And I feel like after I just shouted out that she's younger than Bryn, she's inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon, Aaron. <laughs>